What's up, guys? We're back. How's it going? Ali, A1 Bokeh? I don't know. I don't know anymore. I think I kind of want to change it back. <laughs> what do y'all think? Anyway, let's get to it. We're just talking here. We all know about the gimbal shots, the dolly shots, in post stabilization, and IBIS. You know, smooth, flowy goodness. Lately, I kind of got into handheld footage. I'm kind of liking that slight shake and you can, the focus is kind of give it a second and to, to focus on the subject. I don't know, I'm really liking the look. In this video, we're not talking about gimbals, dollies, and post stabilization. We're talking about good old fashioned handheld footage and how me as a beginner, as someone who shouldn't be giving you advice, gets that footage. I remember when I first got a gimbal, I, I, I balanced it on there and then I remember thinking, dude, this looks amazing. And I freaking took it through the house and I went outside and I'm sweeping it down in the bushes and all that crap. And then pretty much every shoot, I use the gimbal. Cause I'm like, yo, this is incredible. But now, like I said, I'm getting into the handheld. I'm really starting to like the look, but I do know that some shoots, your client's gonna want that flowy gimbal look. And for some shots, it's cool. Man, I really hope this isn't focus. Yo. There's like a couple principles when it comes to stabilization, right? There's a, there, it's about stability, the weight, the focal length, moving as one. Also depends on what kind of movement you're doing and that determines how you're gonna perform it. I, you know what I'm saying? Tip number one is move your body as one. Let's say you have the handheld rig or let's say, let's go, let's start from beginner guy. You have the camera, use your straps. So you can use your straps and then you, you're gonna pull it out, right? And then let's say you want a shot where you're kind of going around a subject. So you're gonna pull it out and you just move your body with it as opposed to going like this with your, just your arms. You do that when it's like the last, the last option. You're gonna move and then let's say you might do that. So that's really one thing, man. It's moving your body as one. You know, that's why the ninja walk is a thing because it's a shot that you have to move. So you're trying to move as little as possible. That's why you, you walk gently on the ground. And then there's focal length. So the wider we go, the easier that's gonna be to stabilize. The tighter shots, like this is a 42.5, 85 milliquiv, full frame. If I'm walking with that, without stabilization, no eye, there's nothing, that's gonna be pretty hard, bro. Like, it's gonna be moving like a mofo. So the weight of your rig matters a lot. I know a lot of people, especially in Micro Four Thirds, they love the low weight of the gear, the lenses. I personally am kind of in, in the middle. Like, I kind of like lenses with a little bit of weight. You know, when you rig it out with the, the lens, the monitor, the rig itself, that's pretty good for me because it's easier to hold something stable opposed to something really light. Hold that stable, that's way harder. Like you have to also, you can't like grip the camera or whatever tightly because you're gonna start shaking. You know, those little trembles. You just let it fall into you, become one with your camera and your weapons, right? You have to like let it fall into your hands, fall into your shoulder, fall into the movements. Just like, you're just flowing, man. Right? So like, you just gotta remember these principles and honestly, what's really gonna give you handheld, great handheld footage is shooting handheld footage, practicing, seeing what works, using the same camera, same setup, and you're gonna get better at it. I'm really trying to like figure out where I wanna shoot handheld, where I wanna use the gimbal, stabilize shots, whatever and yeah so i think that's it all right anyways i would say just remember the principles weight focal length moving as one let it become you you and your weapon as one fall into each other fall in love so you gotta like just combine all these things and then still we do have gimbals ibis in post stabilization and editing so there's like plenty of ways to save you so yeah, get stable, man. We all gotta get stable. All right, guys, well, that's how I go about getting handheld footage stabilized. Um, I think it's cooler. I just, I like it. I don't know what it is. It just, 
it becomes more personal like the flowy stuff with the gimbals and all that when that's the only thing you're using i feel like it's just it's just a different look so um let me know man do you guys like the gimbal or do you like the handheld do you like to go no hands on some crazy sh and uh why do you prefer that style i really would love to know and what are you shooting you know i'm getting into the real estate so like the gimbal is a must all right catch y'all next time i love y'all peace see this autofocus see where we're at let me fly